Hey guys, so today we're going to kind of go over classifying triangles by sides and angles. So I know you've had this in your notes, but we're going to review this to make sure that we, we've truly got it. All right, so triangles have two names. And one helpful way that some students remember it is that a triangle has a first name and a last name. The first name could be the side name and the last name could be angles. Or you could totally reverse it. And the first name could be angles and the last name could be sides. Whichever way you do it is perfectly fine, just as long as that, as long as you're able to name each triangle by both its angle and its side properties. So the first thing I want you to do is we're going to look at the sides. And I want you to ask yourself one question. So when you get a triangle and you have to identify it based on its properties. So the first thing I want you to do is look at the sides and ask yourself this very question. What I want you to ask yourself is, does it have any sides that are the same length? So any sides that are the same length. If you have all three sides that are the same length, something like this, it is called an equal lateral. Equal lateral means equal sides. Okay, so the triangle has equal sides and they're gonna mark those sides by these congruent markings. So these little lines right here. So since this is marked, this is marked, and this is marked, it's telling you that all three of these have the exact same length. Okay, so they're all three equal. So that's an equal lateral triangle. If you don't have any sides that are the same length, none of them, then it's called a scalene triangle. And I want you to notice these congruent markings on this one. This one, they, they put a number one here, they put two here, and they put three here. Sometimes they'll write those on there so you can see that none of them match. So that one doesn't match the two and the two doesn't match the three. Unlike over here on the equal lateral, did you notice that all three of them have that one marking? So they're telling you that all three of those match. Now, sometimes they're not gonna put any markings at all on a scaling triangle. Look at this triangle right here. It doesn't have any markings. And so that's one way of saying that it's a scaling triangle because they're not marking any of them because none of them match. Okay, so if you have all three sides that match, that are equal, it's an equal lateral. If you have no sides that match, it is a scalene. And if you have two sides the same length, it's called an isosceles triangle. Look at this triangle right here. So we have two congruent markings that each have the one line. So that means that, that side is going to match that side. But they're not the same length as this bottom side right here. See, it's marked with two. So they're just telling you that those two sides match. In this triangle right here, they didn't even mark the other side, but they did put the congruent markings right there on the ends. So they're telling you that this side is the same length as this side. So first thing I want you to do is when you look at a triangle, look at its sides, ask yourself this question. Does it have any sides that are the same length? If yes, how many? Are all three the same length? It's an equilateral. If two are the same length, it's an isosceles. And if none of them are the same, then it's a scalene. Okay, so if you've got that down, that's half your triangle. You've got one part of the name. So after looking at the sides, I want you to then look at the angles. And we're going to ask ourselves again another question. This time, when we're looking inside the angle, so you're looking inside the triangle at its three angles, ask yourself, does it have any angles that are not acute? Okay, does it have any angles that are not acute? If all three angles are acute, look at this one over here. They're all three less than 90. Therefore, this is an acute triangle. Okay, so it's an acute triangle because all three angles are less than 90. If it has one obtuse angle, so this one right here is a 120 degree angle. So remember back to when we talked about angles. An obtuse angle is any angle that measures between 91, so it's over 90, so 91 all the way to 179. So it's less than 180 and it's greater than 90. That makes it an obtuse angle. So since this triangle has an obtuse angle, therefore this is an obtuse triangle, okay? So think about that for a second. So obtuse angle automatically makes it an obtuse triangle. If, again, if it only has acute angles, then it's an acute triangle. All three angles are less than 90. If it has one right angle, one right angle, so one right 90 degree angle, you're always gonna look for these little perpendicular markings. So this little marking says that this is a right angle. If it's got one of those, it's automatically a right triangle, okay? 
So sides and angles. Sides, you're asking your question, you're asking yourself the question, does it have any sides that are the same length? The second question you're asking yourself, do you, does it have any angles that are not acute? And if you can do those two, then you're going to be able to name it both names. Okay, so let's practice. Let's put them together, the side name and the angle name. All right, so look at this triangle. I'm going to give you a second to look at this. And you can always pause this video as you're going through here to make sure you've got the right name. Question number one, are there any sides that are the same length? If so, how many? Question number two, are there any angles that are not acute? If so, what is it? Now put those names together. You should have noticed that there are two sides that are marked with congruent markings. These are telling you that this side matches this side. So therefore, it has two sides that are the same length. That makes it an isosceles triangle. Notice the right angle perpendicular marking right here. So with it being a right angle, that makes it a right triangle. So you should have either came up with right isosceles or isosceles right. If you did, good job. If not, look at what you missed and see if you can figure out why you missed it. All right, for our next triangle, let's look at this one. I'm going to give you a minute. Again, always pause the video if you need to. First of all, let's look at the sides. What do you notice about the sides? Do you have any that are the same in length? Good. Um, if so, how many? And what should you name it? Now look at the angles. Are there any angles that are not acute? Put those names together. And you should have came up with an equal lateral because all three of these are the same and you can see the markings and all three of the angles are less than 90. So you should have came up with an equal lateral acute or an acute equilateral. All right, hopefully you're doing great. One more. Look at this one, try to do this one on your own. Ask yourself those two questions. Pause the video if you need to. So I noticed that there is an obtuse angle right here. It's over 90 and less than 180. So I know this is already going to be an obtuse triangle. But now I also have to look at the sides. I don't see any congruent markings at all. So that means all three of those side lengths are different. Therefore, it should be an obtuse scalene or a scalene obtuse. All right. So what I'd like for you to do, if you're in my class, go ahead and pick up a copy of the practice sheet below from the classroom computer cart. I want you to use what you've learned to name each of the 10 triangles by both its side and its angle properties. You can use your notes from the last time we did this when class, or you can use your notes from what you took just now. Um, if you're not in my class, you can access this worksheet by clicking right here, and it's provided by mathdrills.com. All right. Let me know if there's any questions or comments.